r slash ask reddit. What is something you only know if you grew up poor? You can skip a meal by just going to sleep. Wear your coat inside to save on the heat bill. Lunchables. Fruit rollups and dunkaroos were the most incredibly luxurious school lunch items. Fit for a Saudi prince. Santa discriminates based on income. What you used to eat growing up is no longer affordable since it became trendy superfood. Any car 10 years old or newer is new. Comma rice can be an entire meal, my mom preferred it with butter. Cinnamon and sugar. Comma so can cornbread. Comma if you're cold. Put on another layer. Walk up and down the basement steps a few times. Drink some hot water. Sit on your hands. ETC. Comma you can water down skim milk to make it last longer, I still to this day can't drink anything thicker than skim. Comma gardens are a necessity. Not a luxury. Comma other kids are greedy in their Santa lists. That's the only reason they get more toys from him. Comma hand-me-downs are your only option, at least until you're the tallest cousin by the age of 10. Comma garage sales take up a majority of your weekends. Comma always haggle prices. Comma dented cans are cheaper. Comma buy the recently expired or about to expire packaged food for cheap cheap and then freeze it. That is. Yogurt. Comma expired cake mix works up for mug cakes in the microwave just fine. 3 tablespoons cake mix. 2 tablespoons water. 1 minute in the microwave. Comma a spoonful of peanut butter can be dessert. Comma you wash and reuse plastic silverware and also reuse food containers as Tupperware. Never having any new clothes of your own. But only worn hand-me-downs from your older siblings. Your mom having to borrow money from you to pay for food bills. Also the embarrassment of people comparing Christmas gifts with you when they got expensive electronics and toys. I used to hate when teachers asked the class what they got for Christmas. A slice of bread equals hot dog buns. Hamburger buns. Biscuit and gravy biscuit. Makes a sandwich from any meal left over to make it more filling. Sloppy Joe bun. Dip in soup. Not to ask their parents for stuff. That McDonald's can be a place for special occasions only. The drug dealer next door is actually really nice. And so is his huge black dog. Making lots of friends meant you could go to other kids houses and get invited to stay for dinner. I would always sneak something to eat back home for my mom. She never asked me to do that. But I knew she was hungry. Walmart is typically 24 hours and is a good place to escape the cold and riffraff of the streets when you're a homeless kid. Also back when arcades were a thing a lot of people would drop coins under the machines so that was a good way to scrounge for food money. Also learned how to turn the water and power on in empty houses when I was willing to risk getting thrown in jail. Which honestly would have been an improvement. My brother and I grew up harsh and with no support system other than each other. We still only have each other but we made it through and the experiences made us better people. Being excited to watch a Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network show at a friend's house. When you're at the end of your pay it is possible to live off instant coffee and biscuits stolen from the office tea room just so your cat can have food. If you have $10 in your bank account and $10 in your wallet. You can deposit the $10 cash into an ATM to bring your balance up to $20 so you can withdraw it and get your last $10. <laughs> How to invent foods based on the limited amount of what you already have. The crushing fear of asking for anything. Even when it was a necessity. My thighs have always rubbed together and I'd only have one pair of jeans that fit. So I'd wear through the thighs in a couple months and end up chafing my thighs for weeks and try to patch them by crummily sewing socks over the holes. It was a nightmare. Now that I'm financially secure and have like 6 different pairs of well-fitting jeans. I've had them all for well over a year and none have worn through yet. How to really stretch and reuse leftovers. How to make yourself feel more full on less food. Drink a full glass of water before dinner and add cheap fears to dinner like bread. Beans. Or crackers. Hunger naps. In America. If a price sticker on the shelf is lower than what it rings at. They have to give you the lower price. So if you know when they change their price tags. You can likely find some that haven't been changed out yet. Giving you access to more lower prices.
since they will already have started putting new ones up, too. This one is morally shaky. But it works. My mom did this one a lot since we lived far from the grocery store and it saved us gas money from going multiple times during different deals. But no matter how much you boil rainwater, it always tastes kinda funny. Learning how to put someone else's needs before your own and say goodbye to pets at a very young age. Couldn't feed my pets. They were starving. Had to quickly find them a new home. Being ashamed to invite your friends over to your house to play. Or for birthday parties. Or anything. Really. The house I grew up in was clean and well taken care of. And in hindsight it really wasn't so bad. But when all my friends had big. Nice houses and upscale neighborhoods and I lived in a tiny modular home in the woods. I was quite self conscious about my situation. The funny thing is now I make plenty of money. And I pay ridiculous rent for a high rise apartment that's way smaller than that house I used to be so ashamed of. Life isn't fair. Craft mac and cheese and boiled hot dogs is a good quality dinner. Being a simple man. Not a lot of people understand why I don't strive for conventional success. I just want to be safe. Warm. Loved. And fed. I want for little more. Beans on toast is amazing. How to dumpster dive at Toys R Us. Also the value of chocolate milk at school. I used to trade it for a sandwich in case I didn't get dinner. Many people have no idea what really having no money is like. Choosing between what afters you can afford and which ones have to wait. And enduring the well meaning why don't you just. From people who really just don't understand at all. Feeling guilty about getting Christmas presents as a child. Most of the time. You can't get what you want. And you start wanting things less because your parents can't afford it. Good hygiene isn't always an easy thing to have. If you eat dry oatmeal and drink a glass of water. No food needed for the rest of the day. What hamburger helper tastes like without any hamburger meat? Finding our mum crying in the kitchen counting pennies when you can afford a loaf of bread. As the eldest of three, at the time. Now four, I was the confidant. Up until I was seven it was a constant struggle to afford food. Worse between the ages of five and six. Government cheese. How amazingly good toasted welfare cheese sandwiches taste. How awesome your first real pair of name brand shoes, Nike. Added us etc. Ah. Cable television. I could go on all day but these three were. For me. The absolute best. My sister. Let's have a sleepover my friend. My house or your house my sister. I don't have a house. We did have a place to live it was just a small apartment and there wasn't enough room for my friend over. How bad powdered milk tastes after you've had real milk. And how good powdered milk tastes when you're truly hungry. Eating at McDonald's was considered a luxury. I think it cost around $25 to $30 to feed a family of 7 at McDonald's back then. Versus. For a little bit more. Maybe $40 to $50. My mom could buy a small bag of rice and some kind of meat, chicken, pork, fish, and veggies and feed our family of seven for the entire week. This is all back in 1995. The check engine light really isn't that important. Beans and rice are everything. Parents can be really, really good at hiding how bad it is financially. There are so, so many alternatives to buying brand new household items. Staples aren't necessary if you just fold the top left corner of the stack of papers. Make two small tears on the folded part. And fold the piece in between the tears. The method starts to fall apart when the stacks get too large though. But it's great for school papers and minor projects. Just don't hand in your PhD thesis using the method. As a 2000s kid who had less than average income. I can get most of the questions right on those only 90s kids will remember quizzes. Knockoff brands are enjoyable when you first get them but can quickly become a point of ridicule when found out. Drinking a lot of water before or during a meal makes you feel much more full. We have food at home. Going with my mum to work as a kid. And having not more than one friend for my birthday outings with just me. My mum and my one friend LMAO. 
Going to sleep to stop being hungry. Thrift stores are your friend. Wet wild makeup was just as good. I grew up in the late 80s 90s so if we got new clothes it was a miracle and only from a Kmart that had $1 shoes, which I wore. A patching holes in your pants because you didn't always get new ones for every school year summer. Adults who knew your family story felt sorry for you and would give you gift cards to buy clothes at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Also getting a computer was a privilege which we didn't have until it was given to us by someone. Charity. That your brain would get your further, grand scholarships, to college. Which I was the first to graduate from both high school and college. I still enjoy thrift stores but am thankful for being able to provide what is needed wanted for my family. You don't know how poor you are until you've been to your rich friend's house. Free ketchup. Mustard. Butter. And or mayonnaise packets from the local fast food place make a tolerable lunch or snack when combined with crackers, especially if you can get some salad club crackers for free as well. I own operate my own successful company now and still find myself eating the poor man's snack every once in a while. You can survive on Kraft macaroni for 3 years. Those who have grown up in a poor environment tend to appreciate things way more than someone who is handed it. Beefaroni tastes fine straight out of the can but ravioli does not. Knowing that you can eat a raw hot dog. Eating the same thing every day. My so can't believe I can eat one meal for days and not get sick of it. It was mostly spaghetti. Thankfully I love spaghetti. Having to look at the price always when going out to eat with friends family. Ever since I was a child. My mother would always make me choose whatever things were the cheapest or not too expensive, even though we weren't even that poor. I think she was just trying to save money. By all means. That remark stayed with me until today. Where I always feel a little bit of shame when ordering expensive food. Which leads me to order the cheapest item on the menu even if it is paid by somebody else. It's just a little thing that stayed with me forever. Even though I really have no need to keep ordering cheap. Sometimes it is useful though. It makes you consider what you are going to eat pay more. But it is a psychological pain in the ass if you ask me. When we were super poor and getting Kool-Aid or Pop was a rare treat. Sometimes we'd get iced tea powder from bulk at the grocery store as well. I remember asking my dad if we had anything to drink either than water and he dug through the cupboards and he found some iced tea powder, just enough for a glass. I was so excited. He mixed it up and noted that it wasn't mixing super well but finally he gave it to me and I took a big chug. It was beef bouillon powder. Funny looking back now but I remember how disappointed I was. You can stay warm in the winter using your gas stove even if your power is shut off. When you are poor you learn appreciation and kindness and like most rich people. Rice is nice. What food staples go well together? Ramen egg. Canned tomatoes elbow macaroni. Tomato soup cheese slices. Being able to feed a family of four for less than two dollars meal at the end of every month. Living in rental buildings all my life. My family could never afford a house. But it turned out okay because life is crazy. Parents worked so hard but layoffs happened so our living financial situation was always changing. Each of them worked two jobs at some point. Eventually they got divorced a few years ago and it was relatively easy without having to figure out who gets the house etc. Because. Well. There was none. A very simple divorce where my mom didn't even ask for money. And even after all this our family still helps each other out. If anything. Salt and sugar is a good way to feel like you're eating real food. And grass is edible if you're desperate enough. Poverty is expensive. Washing disposable plasticware. Going to your extended family's houses usually resulted in leaving with bags full of tinned food. Everything around you can be a toy. My action figure collection included a stick. A mason jar. An off-brand Barbie given to me by an older cousin. And a bunch of melted green army men that looked like a giant. We had the best adventures. Never answer the phone. It was always the bill collectors looking for money. Same with the front door. Go away nobody's home. Thanks for watching mate. Make sure to smash that star button for more high quality content.